Episode number seven, is it important to build your contact list? Let's get it going. Okay, guys, so if you do not take away anything from this tip, except this, I'll be happy. So don't forget, guys, that your network equals your net worth. Let me repeat that for you. Your net work equals your net worth. Now, I've spoken about the numbers in our previous tip of the day, meaning focusing on the numbers on a consistent basis, meaning focusing on the phone calls, the emails, the newsletters you send out, how many people you reach out to on a daily basis, how many hands you shake, all of that fun stuff, right? Now today, I'm talking to you about how important it is to build your list. So what does that mean? Now let's forget about tech for a second here. Forget about Podio, MailChimp, you know, Salesforce, all of these complex online platforms that can help you with sending out those newsletters and building your lists and even your website. And why I'm saying that is when I started my journey in real estate, I had no clue what any of that was. I had no clue how to use any of those things, right? But I did know one thing. I did know that when I met someone and I shook their hand and I got their business card, I took their business card, I stacked it in a bundle and I would write their name down on a piece of paper their first name, their last name, their email address, and their phone number. That is all I knew how to do back in the day, right? So guys, ultimately, when you do such things and you work hard and you stay consistent with taking someone's details, even if it means writing it down on a piece of paper, I would suggest you get accustomed to using this thing, which is called a laptop, and adding people's details, even into a spreadsheet, And then reaching out to these people, guys. Consistently reach out to these people. Give them a call, send them a text message, compose an email and send them an email. You do not need to get involved with with, um, complex marketing strategies, drip campaigns, you know, autoresponders. That comes with time. It took me four or five years before I actually had good people around me that would that were able to assist me with all of these, you know, marketing strategies and sending out these newsletters and whatnot. Um, but guys, at the end of the day, before someone is going to consider listing their home with you or using you as a buyer's agent, it is going to take you five to seven touch points before they make their decision, okay? Five to seven touch points. So please don't forget that. Stay consistent, stay networking because your network equals your net worth. And even if that means taking someone's details and writing it on a piece of paper or putting it in your in your spreadsheet on your laptop, okay? So guys, um, I hope that today's tip helps you out. Um, and if there are any other questions that you might have or anything else that you may need, check out the description below. There's a ton of links. You can get a hold of us pretty easily. I'd love for you to check out our website, www.agentscomefirst.com. And until the next tip, you guys be selfish and go rogue and have a great day.